Hello folks and welcome. This video is made for new users. I have been going through a lot of my stuff in the last uh, month or so. I've had lots of things to take care of, but uh, I'm catching up with some of my notes and there was a user that requested a video on 21.3 Cinnamon Desktop because it's still being supported and will be for a while. A lot of people use um, 21.3 because maybe uh, their uh, computer system doesn't handle the newer version of 22.1 for instance or 22 for that matter. I'll also be using Gromit as the highlighting tool and today what I'm going to talk about is something very simple for new users. Um, this is a desklet and so is the one on the top here. I've shown the one on the top before but I'm going to talk about this desklet here with the yellow timer on it. So, um, turning off the red stuff, I will say welcome. Uh, my screen is actually in 4K mode. I'm not using the standard Linux Mint logo, but Linux Mint logo nonetheless. And uh, this was requested about um, talking about desklets and how to lock them, how to unlock them, and also how to create one with the timer on it, as far as the time frame is concerned, and you can see that. So um, 4K is what I'm in, filming in 1080. Subscription logo in the corner, 500 plus videos on all kinds of things. These are desklets. I can move these around. I also may want to change the color and the position of these things and maybe even the date if I'm using different wallpaper. We all get a different perspective when we change these things we call backgrounds. In either case, um, what I'm going to talk about today, though, I'll go to the black and white if you want. I'm going to be talking about desklets. Desklets belong on your desktop. The other thing I've heard over the years is um, some people wonder, why can't I do what I'm doing right now? And then when I position these things, when I change the screen resolution, they kind of bleed off the edge. And if you can't pull them back, you may have this setting turned on. So using Gromit, the highlighting tool, it's Gromit MPX. If this setting is on, that's why you can't move these. Desklets are something on your desk. These are applets down here. Desklets belong here and on your screen. When this setting here, circling that multiple times, is set to on, that's why you can't move these. Turning off the red stuff. Let me activate this tool now. Now when I click these and try to drag, nothing happens. I've heard this problem before. I replied back to at least two users over the last eight months, basically stating, would you check your settings for your desklets and you make sure that this is turned off because if it is on, you cannot move these. When I turn these off, I can move them around. Whatever position I want these. All right, I'll put this back here. The other thing about desklets is we have a couple of things to talk about. I will remove that one because it's removable. This one is also removable, but I'm just going to turn it off for right now. As long as I don't remove it, it still retains its settings. But it will always produce, when you reactivate desklets using Gromit, the highlighting tool, when you reactivate desklets by using the plus key, they will all end up in this region in here. Then you can move them around your desktop. Okay, hopefully that's understood. All right, so I will turn off Gromit, the highlighting tool, and move this desklet into position. This is highly configurable. I can do it in here, or I can also right-click on the desklet and configure it there. These are the same settings. All right, in here, we have downloads. We also have general settings. I don't use the decoration part of it, I but to re-emphasize what I was talking about desklet locks when they're locked in other words on these stay 
If you change your screen resolution and they bleed off to the side, you may need to disable the lock and pull it back in. Hopefully that's understandable because this video is again made for new users. Under manage we have the ones that I can't remove and this is the one that I can because I installed it from downloads. This calendar desk lid is not the same as this one. I will activate that. It's that. If that's what you want for your time and date, it has a limited set of options. Okay. However, I'm going to disable that. And then I'll turn on the old kind of seven segment LED thing. All of these are in the download category. They can be done with name, popularity, date, and installed and upgradable if you've never used desk lights. All right. Use the uh, ratings discerningly, as one would put it. I'm going to scroll down to this area here. Turn on Gromit just for a second. That's the highlighting tool. This has a check mark because that calendar is this one right here. But just installing it doesn't activate it. You have to be in Manage to activate it. And I will install something in a second here after I turn off the red stuff. So going downstairs, uh, we have a lot of things that people don't care for. And some people say, I like it, and some people say, I don't. You may not even like this one, but I'm going to show it anyways. I need to install it. I'm not going to use the red stuff. I'm just going to click that, and it turns into a check mark. But you don't see it on the desktop at all, because I haven't activated it. Activating and installing are two different things. Now, I can also uninstall that at any time I feel necessary. But for me to display it, a desklet, now I'll use Gromit, for you to display a desklet requires a check mark. You can see that I have no check marks in here other than this one. Because that's the only desklet that's being shown, is that calendar. Okay? Turning off the red stuff. And I'll re-emphasize this one more time. This is made for new users. So for the experienced users, go, I already know this. Uh, trust me, there's plenty of people who do not know this. Some people are just brand new to Mint. Anyways, hit the plus key. It appears over here, very tiny. You can configure this in here. There are several pages worth of stuff. I'll not overwhelm you, but I will show you some of them. Now, now I have two of these check marks installed. So I have this guy and I have this guy here that's sitting behind my window. The calendar, in other words. Turning off the red stuff. What I want to do here is right click and configure this thing. I'll pull the box to the side so you can see this. I may need to even put it over here. And depending on the color that I choose and the options that I choose, I may have to actually change some things. Background colors, digits, clock, date and Unix time. Watch what happens when I turn the clock off. You get a funny abstract that says time is an illusion by Albert Einstein. I thought that was hilarious when I saw that. If you want to show the date, you can. It's very tiny currently because it's configured in this screen. That's okay. We'll deal with that. I'm not going to overwhelm you with every single settings, but you can experiment on your own. Now it's currently using a 24 hour clock instead of a 12 hour clock. And we can also show Unix time. Now, when uh, Linus Torvalds was in university in Helsinki, um, that's where he developed Linux. Linus Torvalds lives very close to me. But when he was going to university in Helsinki, um, he developed Linux. So Linux is a Unix type of system or Unix like system. Unix time is sitting here ticking away if you want to turn that on. I'm going to turn that off. But you can also turn off the date 
if you like. All right, so that's the background color and that doesn't really reflect too much because I'm running a black background with the Linux Mint logo, but we can also change some things in a second. We also have the color of the text itself on the clock. If it's white, that's default. If you want to change it to yellow or green or whatever color theme you want, we can do that. Let me alter the background. I'm going to right click and change the background to something different from the Linux Mint one. I will use, first of all, the purple one, just to let you see that. Now that's pretty tiny compared to everything on my 43 inch screen. Let's right click and configure this. Let's go to the clock. First of all, I'm just going to make mention of the fact that you have a screenshot tool. You can do a full screen, which is wallpaper and everything, window only, or also selection. I'm just going to draw a box around these guys. And you can save these for later. That's all I'm going to say about the screenshot tool. What I want to do here, though, is use Control C. Control C is a copy. So basically, if I have 60 sitting in here, sorry, I just clicked out for a second. Um, if I'm going to copy that, Control C, that just means I'm copying that instead of making a screenshot of the number. And then I'm going to crank this up. I'll, I'll need to move that out of the way. If I want to return that back to the 60, all I do is highlight that and hit Control V. And indoor, of course, that's default. Mm -hmm. But uh, in either case, I'm also showing the date. I can turn that on and off. So going back over here, we're doing yellow. And uh, we have opacity in the digital appearance or digit appearance. There, you'll see opacity in several screens in here. The clock itself is currently set to 60. So again, I already copied that, so I'm going to crank that up to 210. Is that big enough for you? My screen is 43 inches. This is plenty big for me. Do you like the 12 hour or the 24 hour time frame? This is 1725. If I activate that, that's now 525 and 18 seconds. Do you not like seconds? Well, maybe not. Well, maybe you do like seconds, but want them smaller. How's that? Again, there's tons of options. Do you want that to say AM and PM? Then throw that flag on. That's P for PM. There's also a derivative of um, that, which I don't really care for. That's supposed to say PM. Doesn't really look like that to me, but you get the idea. Let me switch that to that. This is now very tiny. That's done over here where it says date and Unix time. The digit height is currently set to 20. I will crank that up for you a little bit. Now you can see it better. Again, this is all about playing with this box here in four boxes. So you can see a lot of these things are highly configurable and movable. However you want to rearrange the furniture. As long as you have the furniture rearranger turned off, which is lock desk lits in current position. Once you do this one, you can't move these. What happens when you change the screen resolution and they bleed off the edge? Well, to give you an example, um, I'm going to first turn off the desk lit and I'm not going to change the, the screen resolution, but I will pretend I did. Sometimes when you go from different screen resolution, you end up with stuff like this or even that. How do you fix that? Well, if you had locked your desklets using Gromit, the highlighting tool, if this part is on, you can't move these. These are locked, even after you change your screen rest, which drives people nuts. You'll need to turn that lock off to this current position right now. In other words, when this is off, you can move these, which is default, by the way. Let me turn off the red stuff, go back to standard mode. 
As long as the lock is off in general sen settings of desk clits, again, right click, desk clits, general settings, last tab. Then you should be able to move these around to any position on your screen. And again, subjective to your screen resolution. What is mine currently? Mine is currently set to 4K mode, but I'm filming in 1080. I'm at 4K 200% and I'm moving these around to play with them. Don't like this particular, let's say I was doing a different background. Um, I don't know, we'll pick that one. Maybe I don't like yellow on this desk light or even that one. Well, then I would right click on it and configure it with a different color. So this is the background color. That's not the color that I need. I need the digit color, the ones that you're currently seeing. I'll change that to a green so you can see what I'm doing. Both of them are green. Right click on this desk lit. Go downstairs. Text color is currently green. I'll change that to a yellow. Just to give you a different perspective on things. The opacity part, I can deal with doing different settings in here. I believe the 5% for the background is the lowest. You can go, yeah, it's minus. Um, this may be too light, um, and I may need to make some more adjustments to the configuration boxes on these. But there's opacity settings in several different places. There's one here. There is one here. Um, and I think I saw another one in here. But in either case, there's tons of settings on this thing. And again, you may not like any of these things. But all I'm doing is giving you a different perspective with the toys that you can throw on your desktop called desklets. Thank you for watching.